Have you ever been bitten by snakes? Fortunately, not many of you have. Not all snakes are venomous, but today we are encountering one of these reptiles that could cost you your life. Snakes bite about 5.4 million people every year, resulting in between hundreds to thousands of deaths, according to the World Health Organization. Get ready to be terrified from the venomous inland taipan to the notorious black mamba. These reptiles pack a deadly punch. Let's see their unique characteristics and behaviors and find out just how dangerous they really are. They hiss, they slither, and unfortunately for humans and unsuspecting prey, they bite. Here are 10 snakes whose venom not only packs a punch for small prey, but that can take out humans. Without the body. Okay, you guys good? Whoa! Number 10, Black Mamba. Africa's deadliest snake, the Black Mamba can kill a person with just two drops of venom. Named for the dark, inky color inside of their mouths, black mambas are actually brownish in color. They average around 8 feet or 2.5 meters in length and can move at 12 miles per hour or 19 kilometers per hour. The lengthy snakes are born with 2 to 3 drops of venom in each fang, so they are lethal biters right from the get-go. By adulthood, they can store up to 20 drops in each of their fangs. Without treatment, a bite from this African snake is just about always lethal. Here's what a black mamba's venom does to your body. Once injected, the venom interferes with activity in a junction where nerves and muscles connect, resulting in paralysis. Because the venom is also cardiotoxic, it can lead to cardiac arrest. That was the case for a South African man who got bitten by a black mamba on his index finger. Blumenthal reported, by the time he got to the hospital within 20 minutes, he was already in cardiac arrest. Even though doctors treated him with anti-venom, the man ended up dying days later. Scientists aren't sure how many people are killed every year by black mambas, but Blumenthal estimates it is responsible for the largest number of snake-related deaths in southern Africa. Number 9. Fair de Lance A bite from a Fair de Lance or Bothrops asper can turn a person's body tissue black as it begins to die. These pit vipers, which live in Central and South America, are between 3.9 and 8.2 feet, or 1.2 and 2.5 meters long, and weigh up to 13 pounds or 6 kilograms. They're responsible for about half of all snake bite venom poisonings in Central America alone. Because fair de lance venom contains an anticoagulant, a substance that hinders blood clotting, a bite from this snake can cause a person to hemorrhage. And if that didn't scare you off, consider this. A female can give birth to 90 fierce offspring at once. Number 8. Boomslang About 24 hours after being bitten on the thumb by a juvenile boomslang, also called a South African green tree snake, a person can die from internal bleeding from his eyes, lungs, kidneys, heart, and brain. Like others in the field, that rear fang snakes like the bloom slang couldn't produce a venom dose big enough to be fatal to humans. They were wrong. The boom slang, which can be found throughout Africa but lives primarily in Swaziland, Botswana, Namibia, Mozambique, and Zimbabwe, is one of the most venomous of the so-called rear fanged snakes. Such snakes can fold their fangs back into their mouths when not in use. As in other deadly snakes, this one has hemotoxic venom that causes their victims to bleed out internally and externally. With an egg-shaped head, oversized eyes, and a bright green patterned body, the boom slang is quite the looker. When threatened, the snake will inflate its neck to twice its size and expose a brightly colored flap of skin between its scales. Death from a boom slang bite can be gruesome. Blood will also start passing through the body via the victim's stools, urine, saliva, and vomit until they die. Luckily, there is anti-venom for the boob slang if a victim can get it in time. Number 7. Eastern Tiger Snake The Eastern Tiger Snake is a venomous snake native to southeastern Australia. It is one of the most venomous snakes in the world, and is known for its distinctive black and yellow bands, which give it its name. The Eastern Tiger Snake is a relatively large snake, reaching an average length of about 1.5 meters. It is a semi-aquatic species that can be found near bodies of water, including swamps, marshes, and streams. Despite its venomous nature, the eastern tiger snake is generally not aggressive and will only bite if threatened or provoked. However, if bitten, it is important to seek medical attention immediately, as the venom can be lethal. The eastern tiger snake is protected in some parts of Australia, and it is illegal to harm or kill them. Its potent venom can cause poisoning in humans in just 15 minutes after a bite and is responsible for at least one death a year on average. Number 6. Russell's Viper 
Around 58,000 deaths in India are attributed to snake bites every year, and the Russell's viper is responsible for the majority of these mortalities. Pretty much, this species is considered one of the most deadly of the true vipers, researchers reported in 2002. In Sri Lanka, where this nocturnal viper likes to rest in paddy fields, they cause high mortality among paddy farmers during harvest time. The snake's venom can lead to an awful smorgasbord of symptoms, acute kidney failure, severe bleeding, and multi-organ damage. Some components of the venom related to coagulation can also lead to acute strokes, and in rare cases, symptoms similar to Sheehan syndrome, in which the pituitary gland stops producing certain hormones. Victims typically die from renal failure, according to the handbook. Number 5. Saw-Scaled Viper The saw-scaled viper, Echis carinatus, is the smallest member of the Big Four in India, along with Russell's viper, the common crate, and the Indian cobra, Naha. Thought to be responsible for the most bites and related deaths in the country, rather than the stereotypical hissing sound attributed to snakes, this viper starts sizzling by rubbing together special serrated scales when threatened. Once bitten by this viper, a person will have localized swelling and pain in the area, followed by potential hemorrhage. Since the venom messes with a person's ability to clot blood, it can lead to internal bleeding and ultimately acute kidney failure. Hydration and anti-venom, basically there are nine types of anti-venom for this snake, should be administered within hours of the bite for a person to survive, understanding animal research said. Number 4. Banded Crate the banded crate, also known as the Chinese crate or the Taiwan crate, is a venomous snake found in parts of China, Taiwan, and Southeast Asia. It's a member of the Elapidae family and is known for its distinctive black and white bands, which give it its name. How does the banded crate use its venom? It is a relatively large snake, reaching an average length of about 1.5 meters, although some individuals can grow up to 2 meters. It's a nocturnal species and is typically found in forests and agricultural areas. The banded crate is considered to be one of the most venomous snakes in the world, and its venom can be lethal to humans. It's generally not aggressive and will only bite if threatened or provoked. However, it's a slow mover during the day and is much more likely to bite after dark. If bitten, it's important to seek medical attention immediately. The banded crate is protected in some parts of the world, and it's illegal to harm or kill them. Number 3. King Cobra The King Cobra, Ophiophagus hanna, is the world's largest venomous snake, measuring up to 18 feet or 5.4 meters. The snake's impressive eyesight allows it to spot a moving person from nearly 330 feet or 100 meters away. When threatened, a King Cobra will use special ribs and muscles in its neck to flare out its hood or the skin around its head, these snakes can also lift their heads off the ground about a third of their total body length. Its claim to fame is not so much the potency of its venom, but rather the amount injected into victims. Each bite delivers about 7 millimeters, or about 0.24 fluid ounces of venom, and the snake tends to attack within 3 or 4 bites in quick succession. Even a single bite can kill a human in 15 minutes, and an adult elephant in just a few hours. Number 2. Coastal Taipan you could be bitten multiple times before becoming aware of the coastal taipan thanks to its incredible speed. I'm not sure if I should say it's bad for humans or good for them. When threatened, this snake, which lives in the wet forests or temperate and tropical coastal regions, will lift its whole body off the ground as it jumps fangs first with extraordinary precision and injects venom into its enemy. Before 1956, when an effective anti-venom was produced, the snake's bite was nearly always fatal. Number 1. Inland Taipan The Inland Taipan is one of the most venomous snakes in the world. This means just a teensy bit of its venom can kill prey or human victims. They live tucked away in the clay crevices of Queensland and South Australia's floodplains, often within the pre-dug burrows of other animals. Living in more remote locations than the coastal Taipan, the Inland Taipan rarely comes into contact with humans. When the taipan does feel threatened, the snake coils its body into a tight S shape before darting out in one quick bite or multiple bites. A main ingredient of this venom, which sets it apart from other species, is the hyaluronidase enzyme. This enzyme increases the absorption rate of toxins throughout the victim's body. Well, so we hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, I'm sure you're going to love to watch our video about the most dangerous animals in the world. Make sure to click the subscribe button for future notifications and never miss amazing videos like this. 
Thank you for watching, and we'll see you in the next video. Till then, stay tuned.